And so then I decided uh, to, uh, Dr. Carter had mentioned to me that she was giving a life coaching class. And I always thought life coaching was for rich people. <laughs> but, you know, then, you know, when you're a Christian, you kind of um, see life coaching maybe is not like a Christian-like thing to do until you find a life coach that's dealing with things Christian-based. And then you're like, wow, this could be, this could really be good. So I decided to take her life coaching class um, to help me um, maybe see um, what God was trying to show me or tell me to do to deal with um, my issue of fear. Um, and God just showed up in such a way that I can't even explain to you how um, in, in the class there were several other women <clears throat> dealing with several different issues but God was speaking to Dr. Carter directly about each issue there. And um, she's she's very prophetic. And so it's like she was praying and she was seeking God for on our behalf. And she came back with a word every week um, straight from God. And I mean, you have to really believe in God and know who he is and how he operates in order to um, to have faith to know that what she was saying to you was real. And so um, I just want to say to anyone who's thinking about reading the book and taking a life coaching class, to me, they go hand in hand um, because reading the book is good. You know, it, it, it will if you can get understanding from it, um, if you can be um, work well on your own, just read and take instruction, then the book can work well for you. However, some of us need a little bit more direction and they need a little bit more insight from God directly. And that's where I think the life coaching piece uh, goes well together with the book. Um, and I just want to say, um, as a final comment, just um, there's a song that um, Tasha Cobb wrote. Um, and the song says, um, take your authority, get up, um, be who he called you to be arise. And that's what the song says. And to me, that book and, and, the spirit of the book is um, what I got out of it. Oh, I felt that. I'm sorry.